uh, ko Amber Holiaho, ko taku uh, ingwa fano ko tingaunga. So ko Amber tingaunga to ko ingwa. Ko ano uh, my stage name is Amber Holly. Um, no Waikato Tainui aho, um, and he kaitito waiata, he kai waiata no hoki aho. Yeah, um, I think mainly just what I'm feeling at the time um, kind of inspires the songs that I write. So yeah, there's nothing like major that's kind of happened that I've just woken up and been like, oh yes. I've got like a really cool song that I want to write. Um, it could be just in the moment um, that I'm doing something. So at the stage when I wrote um, Tokurel, for example, um, I was going through um, Te Wananga Aotearoa, studying Te Reo Māori, and I just had this feeling of, um, of needing to write about, you know, kind of how I felt and how my tūpuna may have felt. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that came about. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> um, I think they're all really special um, in terms of just reminding me about those particular times in my life, in my career as well. Um, so when I was first um, nominated, I was actually happy with my daughter. So that was a special time in my life. And then also for the next one, you know, like there were, I just released some more music and um, so that was another special time and then also this time, yeah, just, it was crazy. I can't, I don't even know what, how to explain it, um, but I wasn't expecting it, that was for sure. Um, any of the awards, I wasn't expecting any of them. Uh, for me, it was kind of just an honour to be um, in this space where people who I kind of looked up to were there um, as well. And so... Yeah, I don't know if that answered your question or not, but yeah, that's kind of how it feels to be in that space. Just so special, yeah. Um, like I said, mainly is kind of something that's going, what I'm up to in that point in my life. So it was actually Cyan and I, um, we were at home, we were probably practicing for a gig that we had coming up and then I was just playing some chords on the guitar and then I was thinking about some kupu and yeah that's kind of how it came out and actually she was the one that's in a particular part of the song she said oh you should maybe sing it like this and so I was like oh yeah that's cool so we were able to bounce ideas and it was kind of like a bit of a wānanga we were able to bounce um, rangi off each other at least yeah so that's kind of how I do um, composers, bounce ideas off other people, um, guitar playing and, and things like that for melodies and that. So yeah, nothing tricky or anything like that. It's just really good old fashioned, you know, wānanga kind of thing. So yeah, koi Um um, yeah, my words generally come out after the tune that's created. Yeah, so I generally um, play in the guitar and then can kind of hear some words that might go to that. And then, yeah, the words that should go to it for me. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, I'm, um, and I think I've said this in pretty much every interview that I've had so far. Uh, is that I'm kind of just doing some grounding um, stuff with myself to see what it is that I really want to push out um, in terms of messages and uh, making sure that the content that I share is um, honest and truthful. Um, and yeah, so I'll be releasing music next year, um, but this year I'm just kind of doing some gathering of um, concepts and things like that, so yeah. I, I really, um, and this is probably one of my long-term goals, but I'd really like to do some mahi with uh, Macy and Rob, um, just, you know, because I've been so inspired by them throughout my musical career and before that, um, that it would just be, yeah, like a dream for me to be able to work with them and do some mahi like that, yeah. Um, there are a few people I'd like to reach out to, and um, at the awards, actually, I spoke to Tipane who, you know, was super keen to do some mahi together. So 
Um, yeah, he will definitely, I uh, hopefully will be one of them that I get to work to. Hopefully we'll be able to get some work done with Cyan as well because we work really well together. So yeah, I'm sure there'll be a few people that um, will agree if I ask them to do some mahi with me, so yeah. Okay, you don't need to go out, let's just stay home and write some more music. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I would have said to myself, yeah, take that opportunity, yeah, definitely take that opportunity and that one too. Um, I think, you know, as a young person, you kind of just like, oh, no, nah, it's all good, I'll do it later or catch up later. But yeah, I think, yeah, take all the opportunities um, that you can. I would have definitely told myself to do that and just calm down a little bit. <laughs> um, I think my main advice would be um, just to be true to who you are always. Um, you know, don't ever lose yourself in the process of um, doing something that you love because then it doesn't feel like it's worth it or it doesn't feel um, it then begins to feel like it's mahi um, so if you are <clears throat> true to who you are are passionate about what you do it, it always feels like a, a cool ride um, although there may be ups and downs it still feels like um, purposeful yeah so yeah koina Um, mainly it's all, yeah, it's all online, so like Spotify, iTunes, so all like the digital stores, um, that's where it is. Or um, Iwi Radio have done an amazing job at supporting um, my music um, and lots of Māori artists as well. Um, so yeah, ringing up your local um, Iwi Radio station and asking, you know, requesting for um, our music to be played is, is awesome as well um, or you know following uh, myself on social media because I do have live gigs as well um, here in Pornikin outside of Pornikin as well so yeah.